Hello there, and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about our online lessons. Me and my wife have always taken quite a hard line on technology with our kids. Neither of them really had mobile phones until they reached their teens, and we try hard to limit the amount of screen time that they get. The other day, my son, who is, like my daughter, an avid reader, and who also plays a musical instrument, and is generally a pretty decent conversationalist these days, was chatting to two of his old friends from primary school and they were raving about this new computer game they're both really into, telling him how exciting it was. And he sat there looking a little bit bored and a little bit sceptical. And at the end of it, he simply sort of rolled his eyes and said, right, okay, well, I'll take your word for it. We often say, I'll take your word for it to mean, yeah, okay, it's not that I don't believe you, you know, probably what you're saying is true for you, it's just that I'm not interested. I remember once when someone tried to explain the plot of some particular kind of horrific splatter film called Human Caterpillar to me, and they were getting quite excited, saying, there's this crazy doctor and he chops up all these people and then he kind of sews them all together and makes this human cat... It's an amazing film. It's really, really great. Right, OK, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I don't really think I need to see that kind of thing myself. Might also be if you're in a restaurant, for example, um, as happened to me recently. I was in a restaurant with some friends and the person next to me was saying, oh, these clams are to die for. They're delicious. Really, really amazing. You should have ordered them. Right, well, um, I'm actually a vegetarian and I, I don't eat seafood at all, but I'll take your word for it. I believe you, but I'm not interested. Um, we also maybe sometimes use it just to say you believe somebody, but you don't know much about what they're saying. So maybe you have a problem with your car and you take your car up to the garage. A mechanic has a look at it for you and tells you, oh, your gearbox is knackered. You need a new gearbox in there. Right. OK, well, I'll take your word for it because, you know, I know you're an honest man. How much do you think it's going to set me back to get it fixed? And when do you think you can do it by? If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. Please share it on social media. Share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues. And in the comments section below, we'd love to see examples of how you might use I'll Take Your Word For It.